The Department of Transportation is now considering requiring trains to have two people on their crews when they pass through Kansas. And they held a public hearing on the matter this morning. 13's Callie Holthouse heard from people on both sides of the discussion. Callie. David, the hearing lasted upwards of two hours, and in that time we heard from a number of people and entities with vested interests in the Kansas railroad system. KAR 36-43-1 would require railroad companies to operate with a two-person crew in a locomotive. Currently, there are no regulations on crew size in Kansas. The Kansas Department of Transportation says having more than one person on board at a time creates an overall safer environment. That's really the, the driving force here, that if, if there is a derailment, and, and I think we'll say there will be derailments. We know that there are derailments all the time regardless of the crew size. So, so this is not about um, decreasing the number of derailments in the state of Kansas. It's about what happens after a train derails. On the opposing side were two of Kansas's biggest railroad companies, BNSF and Union Pacific. They say safety decisions are not KDOTs to make and should be handled either in union negotiations or at the federal level. The railroads and their unions have proven their ability over decades to negotiate crew size so respectfully, this is an area in which KDOT should not tread. The exclusive responsibility for railroad safety rests with the FRA. Moreover, the opposition says there's a lack of empirical support linking two-person crews with increased safety. There is zero evidence that this regulation will enhance safety, and in fact, BNSF believes it will undermine rail operations in a myriad of ways. In support of the proposed regulation is the Sheet Metal Air, Rail and Transportation Workers Union, or SMART. They say Kansas should follow the lead of the 16 other states which have already imposed such rules on their rail industries. Two-person operating crews have been the norm in the industry for 25 years. This regulation makes sense. It's time to set a minimum safety standard in the state of Kansas much like all the other states have done. The proposed regulation would impact each class of railroad in Kansas, and we don't quite have word yet on when KDOT may decide on this proposal. David? We will follow it up, though. Callie Holthouse tonight. Thanks.